In the news, locked out on the St. Lawrence. The main water highway from the Great Lakes to the Atlantic Ocean is blocked off by a breakdown in a lock, a big elevator for ships. We'll be back with the St. Lawrence Seaway in the news. And now, a roadblock on a highway for ships in the news. The St. Lawrence Seaway connects the Great Lakes with the Atlantic Ocean, letting ships carry such cargoes as grain and iron ore from the Midwest to the rest of the world. Between the ocean and Lake Erie, the water level rises nearly 600 feet. To make that climb, especially around Niagara Falls, ships pass through locks, giant ship elevators. A ship going upstream enters a nearly empty lock, the doors are closed and water is let in to raise the ship to the level of the water beyond the lock. Normally, this is the busiest time of year on the St. Lawrence Seaway because by mid-December, heavy ice on the St. Lawrence River will close the passage to most ships. But the seaway is closed right now, not by ice, but by a crumbling concrete wall that temporarily trapped a ship in lock number seven on the Welland Canal around Niagara Falls. Repair work is underway, but meanwhile, Great Lakes shipping is at a standstill, getting backed up as ships approach the canal and have nothing to do but wait. The lock breakdown is affecting shipping and the jobs that depend on it as far west as Chicago, Illinois, and even Duluth, Minnesota, halfway across the continent at the western end of the water highway from the Atlantic. Officials have now cleared the damaged lock and hope to have the seaway open to traffic again by next week. I'm Christopher Glenn with a traffic jam on the St. Lawrence Seaway in the news. This is CBS.